What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. Tutorials that help you guys, the content creators, become better at what you do. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to transform a very dull image into an Instagram banger. And this is the picture we are going to change today. We're going to change this dull flat picture into a banger Instagram picture. Uh, we're going to start by adjusting the base curve. I've got everything set to my favorites menu. If you don't see any of the options right here, you can go to more modules and then choose the one we will be using. Right, so the base curve. As you can see by the histogram, the picture isn't properly exposed. Um, the shadows are a bit too light and the highlights are a bit too low. Um, so I'm going to adjust that first accordingly, like that, to give it a little bit more contrast. And then do the same for the highlights, to expose it properly. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a small S-curve like that and as you can see the picture's got a lot more contrast right now so that's it for now for the base curve we will be adjusting something else later on uh, but for now we are going to the color lookup table reason being is because this got kind of like a summer like vibe and since it's the winter right now i want to change the colors to the winter so we're going to select the green these are presets the uh, reason why I'm using the preset is because it kind of resembles the green in the picture. Uh, what you can also do is you can use the color checker path and then draw a box by pressing your left mouse button and dragging your mouse. Then hit shift, hit left mouse button and then it'll generate a new color over here that you can adjust accordingly as you can see but since we are using presets I'm going to undo everything with ctrl Z I'm going to use the preset color over here now what we need to do is we need to push it a little bit more in the reds and I'm going to darken it just a little bit so I'm going to start with that just darken it just a little bit and everything you do right now is is basically trial and error Every adjustment you make in the picture uh, will generate a different adjustment somewhere else. And sometimes you have to go back and forth between the different settings. I'm going to push this into the reds pretty strongly actually. It's a bit too strong over here. And I'm going to increase the saturation. And as you can see, as I'm increasing the saturation, it tends to go into the reds a little bit more. So I'm going to decrease this about that. I'm going to decrease the reds a little bit. There we go. That looks fine enough if you ask me. Maybe adjust the yellows just a little bit more. Like I said, everything you do changes something else in the picture. So just make sure you go through them like that yeah that looks pretty good um, everything changed I want to change this this color over here so what I need to do is I need to use the uh, color checker path reason being is because this color isn't really into the presets maybe the yellow one but since this is very specific I'm going to adjust it like this there we go and I'm going to keep the lightness as is. I'm going to push it a little bit into the reds, not too much. Yeah, I'll keep it like this. And then I'm going to decrease the yellow part, a fair amount. There we go. And I'm going to keep the desaturation as is. So that changed a lot if you ask me. I kind of like how this looks. So I'm going to keep it like this and now what we're going to do is we are going to create a new layer and reason being is because I'll show you I'll take a snapshot you can take a snapshot anytime you like and 
the great thing about that is that you can check to see how the original image was and how your image is right now and what the changes have been so what you need to do is you need to click the original layer and then click the snapshot layer and as you can see there will be a line drawn that allows you to grab it and move it from left to right and from right to left and as you can see this is the flat image and we changed it into this it's got a lot more contrast it's a little bit dark over here but that's okay if you ask me you can change that any way you like but yeah this looks good even the face is popping a little bit better um, so I'm not going to change a lot about that and once you're done looking at the original layer and the new layer all you have to do is click the last one so in this case it's the third one and then click on the snapshot again and then everything has been uh, erased or the lines are gone right now so you can work on your image again there's one more thing I want to show you guys which is uh, you can mask certain things into the image so let's say you want to brighten up the face a little bit more uh, because the face really draws the attention all you have to do is you have to press this little symbol symbol right here and then hit new instance and that's basically the name for a layer uh, but we want to uh, create a mask because if we don't if I just push this up like this then the entire image is being affected and that's not what we want so I'm going to reset that one and then I'm going to blend drawn mask and there's different presets that you can use you can use a circle you can use an ellipse but I like to use the pause tool because it gives me a little bit more creative uh, flexibility. And what we're going to do is we're going to zoom into the image. I'm going to start with the chest. I'm going to hit that mouse button and just draw a line around her chest and I'll do her face as well. And don't be distracted by the fact that the path seems to have like a, a curve in it just as long as you click it it'll make sure it's going to add points to where you've clicked and not to add his own points uh, it's a little bit distracting I hope they'll change it somewhere in an update but for now they haven't so this is what we have to work with I'm going to go up 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 let's see I'm going to use the mouse button to uh, go up in the image so I'm not doing anything with the mouse other than just clicking to add points. You can change these points after you've made a mask. I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. So let's say I just go like this around her a little bit too far. One more. This is the starting point. So you click the starting point. It creates its own mask and now it has put in those little points that you've just added so let's say I've went on the line here so what I can do is I can draw these in like that to narrow the mask around her face to make sure I only target the areas I want to target there we go that looks good and the other circle means uh, it's the feather area you can uh, either increase or decrease that as well I'm going to keep it the same just for the sake of time and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom out hitting control and use the mouse wheel button because I want to really show you guys what's going to happen so right now if I up the shadows this is what happens to the face I bring them down this is what happens and right now I'm not targeting the shadows if I target the midtones this is what happens the face becomes more dark or overexposed and same goes for the highlights I can increase them or I can decrease them so I'm going to reset the parameter and then everything has been reset but like I said that's how you can just target the face let's say the face is still a little bit dull 
you can uh, increase or decrease everything by using the pause tool. So there's one more thing we need to do before we can upload this to Instagram, which is have the right size and uh, crop value. Reason being is because Instagram uses its own sizes, which is if you use a square, it's 1080 by 1080. If you use a vertical picture, it's 1080 by 1350. And if you use a horizontal one, it's 1080 by 566. Because we are going to upload this as a vertical picture, I'm going to use 1080 by 1350. And I'm going to show you guys how. So what you need to do is you go to the crop and rotate, and then you use the freehand tool. And that allows you to adjust it by hand like this. Um, and the picture is only 1276 high, so that's okay. And I want it to be 1080 in width, um, like that. It's 1082, but that has to do with the, the mouse. And make sure you uh, put your subject in the center. If you use the rule of thirds, that's why I got these lines over here. You can put her on the side, uh, which allows you to show more of the area or the other side, obviously. Um, those things are usually done when you have like drawing lines that draw the attention to your subject. I'm just going to keep her in the center. And then I'm going to double click it. And then as you can see, it has cropped the image itself. And now we need to export it. So we are going to light table and then these are the settings that you can use. And as I said, it's 1080 by 1350, but the image isn't uh, high enough. So I'm going to keep it on 1275, I'm going to export it to the uh, destination folder, and then I can upload it to Instagram.